In life, one should always take precautions. Had I been given that advice in my younger years, I may not have been saddled with a brat of a son. But as it is, you learn from your mistakes. This evening, I witnessed the greatest theatrical error of my life. In their wisdom, the producers of one man show, Teddy Cotton, Name in Lights, failed to give their one man an understudy. Now, as fate would have it, the one man was in rude health this evening, but I can tell you, dear listeners, that it would have been better if he hadn't come at all. Teddy Cotton, the distinguished actor, well, I say distinguished, well, I say actor, plays himself in a woefully miscast role. He moves around the stage with the elegance of a vacuum cleaner, an image that well serves his acting ability also. To use the vernacular, it sucks, as does the script itself. Written by newcomer Violet Smith, the script reeks of a primary school work jotter, and one wonders whether the words were even written with joined up letters. If I had had a blackboard before me, I would have scraped my fingernails across it in an attempt to entertain the audience. It would have proved a more fruitful pursuit than the attempted drama on the boards before us. The audience would not stop fidgeting. I often found my glazed eyes wandering across to the young couple in row C, wondering how long it would be before they lost interest completely in the performance and made love right there and then in the theatre before us without a care for the old woman behind them in row D and whether she would survive the sight of good, true, naked love in a theatre of 323 people, 322 of whom don't give a damn about Mr. Teddy Cotton and his vacuum-cleaning attempts at acting. I digress. The success of the show rests squarely on Mr. Cotton's shoulders, and I am sorry to report that his shoulders are not square. The show was dead to begin with. Dead as a doornail. But let's leave Dickens for another day, shall we? For tonight, I lost my faith in the theatre. And when I returned home to look at my cast album collection, I thought... No, I do not want to be transported to a world of pure imagination. I do not want the hills to come alive with the sound of music. I do not want to put on a happy face. I would rather spend Sunday in the park with the Grim Reaper than George. I would rather bet my bottom dollar in some down-and-out dump than on the sun coming out tomorrow. Are you listening to me, Teddy Cotton? You are the Judge Turpin to my Sweeney Todd, Raoul to my Phantom, and Jean Valjean to my Russell Crowe. So you can keep the theatre. You can keep your cast albums and your minimalist mumbo-jumbo. You can burn everything, including Shakespeare and Stephen. I cannot write a show tune Sondheim, because I am finished. They say you cannot silence a critic. Well, they are wrong, because my pen has committed suicide already. You did this to me, Cotton, and I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy now.